Hello, my name is Ian Stevens. I work for ABB Open Control Systems in the UK. I'm now going to explain System 800XA and its architecture. If you see here, we have servers that run applications. We have the workplace clients that actually the operator uses to interact with the plant. These are in an Internet Explorer container, which means driving back and forward around for an operator as long as he can use Windows, it's self-explanatory and it's all linked together on standard Ethernet. The applications that I'm selecting for this particular functionality is PG2 graphics for the graphical interface, control builder, IEC 61131 programming languages, production management for batch and information management for long-term storage and history. We then need to add the control, so we select the controller which links into the standard Ethernet and we use the 800M controller of the size relevant for the application. We select the suitable I.O. for the suitable industry and area, so S800, S900. We then determine whether we required field bus connectivity using Profibus, Foundation Field Bus or Hart, whether we want connections to drives and motors via Profibus or Optical, and whether we want a control application in SIL 3 and select the safety controller. I'm now going to explain System 800XA's scalable technology and the Aspect Integrator platform which is the core system of 800XA. As you see from the drawing we have potentially a PLC connected into the software platform if we just wanted a SCADA on top of that, we select a workplace and we have PLC and SCADA. If we want a full-blown DCS, we use the same 800M controllers, might use some remote I.O. and some field buses, might add some drives, might add some more functionality. We can also link in the Evolution products from ABB, which is the Master, the Mod, the Freelance, the Symphony. And we also have OPC connections into all programmable logic controllers that have OPC using the PLC Connect. So we can link into third party equipment and controls quite easily. Which then, once we've got the signals in from the ground level, we then determine how many workplaces we need. Do we require CPM solution? Do we want any MES? Do we want ERP systems? Or is there any other functionality required? So we're basically buying the software as we need it. Finally, I'm going to explain the scalability, flexibility and resilience of ABB 800XA as a DCS system. We will start with a small system, maybe one, two, three controllers with one server that holds all of the software. We will then move up to individual servers for the relevant applications like batch, like information management for long term storage. We'll have more operator interfaces and more controllers. I'm then going to add further controllers, redundancy in the specific servers, maybe add an ERP server, maybe add some thin clients for remote control of the application, and there you've got full redundancy at all levels in application servers, client servers, connectivity servers, in your control network, in your controllers, and potentially in your I.O. and field bus. So typical applications, oil, gas applications, huge multi-thousand I.O. here, one to two hundred I.O. here, one to two thousand I.O. Same controllers, same controllers, same controllers, same workstations, same workstations.